Hi, I'm Eric with Satellite Phone Store, and we're out here today in San Diego to show you how to set up the latest satellite internet technology you can take anywhere in the world with you and set up a high-speed internet connection to do whatever you want with. You're not gonna get throttled, you're not gonna get limited. So whatever business you're into, this is a great solution. First thing we're gonna do when we get on site is we need to know where our satellite is. We got three global satellites with MRSAT. Here in the Americas, in North and South America, we're looking for a satellite at 55 degrees west. All these satellites are on the equator. I'm in North America. I know my equator's south. So first and easiest thing to do is to pull out an app on your iPhone or Android. App I like the most is Dish Pointer AR. It's an augmented reality app. It's gonna allow us to put our phone up in the air, see where that satellite is, so that when we go to set our base station and our dish, we're already kind of giving it a head start. We're already getting it in the right direction to make acquisition quick. So here we are, looking south. There's my equator line, I-5. So I'm at 14 degrees off the horizon. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my base for that spot. First off, this is a motor. This motor is meant to help you point to the satellite so you don't have to do it. We don't want to grab it by the motor and mess it up. So, you see this right here? It's a little lip we're going to grab there. You're also going to grab right here on the base stand and just shimmy it out nice and easy like an expensive piece of camera equipment. Shift out the front leg, shift out the left leg. Now we've got a little cushy ground. We're going to just press it down a little bit, make sure we're nice and tight. And tighten the screws up on the, on the legs. And then I like to check my level, so I get my iPhone out. If you open your compass app on your iPhone, swipe to the left, it'll open up a tilt. I got a four degree inclination, so I wanna raise it up a little bit. I got it zeroed out. Do the same thing for my other axis. I'm at a negative one, I'm gonna leave it alone. Second kit, here's our components. Our carbon fiber dishes, there's four of them in here. Our power cables, nice heavy duty military connectors. One transmit, one receive cable. Can't mess them up, they're labeled here, they're also labeled on the terminal. And our power connector, also another heavy duty military connector. Last piece is the radio assembly, very delicate. There's a bunch of fancy parts here, but what you need to know is don't break this piece. It's very fragile. If it tips over, falls, breaks, job's over. This is our transmitter. We just want to keep it cool. If we're out all day long in heavy sunlight, you probably want to shade it. This RF assembly and also the below deck. If you got a job less than an hour or two out in the sun, it's no big deal. Eight hours, we want to hide it. These two bolts go in those two holes. Make sure the screws are out. Bolts in the holes. Tighten the screws. All right, almost there. All right, there it is. Both screws are good. Next, we're gonna work on our reflector. So each one of these latches pulls out. That opens up so we can slide in our carbon fiber dishes panel, so it's four of them, one on each side. Those are our panels. That piece right there slides in these little slots. So I'll start, start anywhere, bottom right, it's easy. Put it right in, push the latch down, it's solid. Again, slot into slot. These pieces have to make a connection. Last one's a little difficult. You have to almost get behind the dish. Okay, latch it down. On the back of these, we have these little pins. You pin them all down. Here we have male pins, the female connector. You line them up, you look at the letters. A goes to A. Twist the connector until you hear it pop. Same thing on the bottom. A to A, twist the connector until you hear it pop. Transmit, TX. TX. TX also goes to our buck, transmit. The little elbow joint goes to the top one. Helps it make a turn to RX, RX. 
Connect our power, connectors on the top, two small ones on the bottom. Top, big one goes together. So you want to put it in and start to turn. Nice and tight and flush. We also want to plug it into a power source like a small UPS or at least a surge protector because uh, we don't want to plug into generators. The power is not very clean. We're gonna go ahead and power on, the, power on the terminal by hitting the on button. The screen says initializing, please wait. First thing it does, it says antenna software upload. That's basically the below deck unit uploading software to the antenna. Then it goes through post, power on self test, it passed. First thing I do is I stow the system to level it off where it's at by holding the down button for three seconds. Stow activated. The terminal will go into a stow position now. With the terminal stowed, now I'm going to go ahead and deploy it by holding the up arrow for three seconds. Deploy activated. It's going to start making some scans. So what it's going to do is it's going to go up and it's going to scan to the right. It's going to go down, scan to the left. It's going to make a few passes to find the signal. You can monitor the signal strength on the right hand side of the screen. So it locked on to about four bars. And now you're going to see the terminal make some very small adjustments here. There we are. Oh, now it's going to make a little fine tune to the left and right. All right, now we're locked. It's got full five bars. It says on the screen ACQ, so it's still in the acquire mode. We're going to wait for probably about another minute to two minutes until it says net OK. And once it says net OK, that lets us know it's online, it's on the internet. We can connect to the Wi-Fi or we can plug in Ethernet and use services. While that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and set up my drone. We use all DJI products. You got two sets of blades, AC power cord, one set of batteries loaded, and two backup. All of them paired and your controller. The camera that we include is the um, X4. First thing you're going to do is you're going to set your wings. The white ones go with the white ones. You just line them up, you pinch and turn. Snaps right in. Line up the, the colors there. Now we need to raise the base so we can attach the camera. From here you're going to press the, uh, the drone button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now from this position, I detach a part that covers the camera gimbal by pressing this button and turning at the same time and I take off the cap. Again, locked and unlocked, line them up, one hand type operation here, twist and turn. Now the camera's attached. So for the drone part, you have to have the DJI app installed on your phone, and then you'll connect your phone to the Wi-Fi of the Global Express terminal. Search for Wi-Fi, it's on the GX5075. I've already put in the password. Changes for each rental and unit. So now I'm on the internet, we're gonna do a speed test. The unit's online. We can tune these up to four megs by four megs, which for media and most events and one live streaming, we can go to four. But for most everything, we can do a good one meg stream. So our live stream started. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope it helps the world of people out there wanting to connect anywhere to do whatever you want to do. It's my passion. I hope it's your passion. We look forward to connecting you.